a fucking welcome. What is it, a motherfucking Tuesday? And you get a fucking welcome like that? You've got to be some mad motherfuckers to give people a, give a fucking welcome like that on a fucking Tuesday. I fucking appreciate it. <laughs> Shit. Right, let's start with the headlines. I swear now. <laughs> Started swearing in my stand-up comedy. Ten years in the game, I've been a pretty clean comedian. I don't effing Jeff that much. And as a result, I've attracted a demographic who, to be frank, I hate. <laughs> it's a bunch of old people and Christians every goddamn show. I'm fucking sick of it. I've got to ditch these Chrisos ASAP. Seriously, man, after every single gig, some fucking mum comes up to me. Oh, me and my daughter love that. Well, I may as well quit now, then. <laughs> if you and your daughter are enjoying it on the same level, the fuck am I doing? I hate old people so goddamn much. They're the stupidest people in the world, and they tell comedians how to do comedy every night of the week. So, oh, it's so refreshing to see a young comedian who doesn't have to resort to swearing. Comedians should never have to swear in order to be funny, you know. Back in my day, comedians didn't need to swear. No, they were all massive bigots, and you love that shit. Don't tell me what is and isn't offensive, you old fucks. I know some of you are sitting there all smug. Oh, I'm okay. I'm not an old person or a Chriso. I'm in the clear. <laughs> yeah, perhaps, but you do know who your Patronus is. You're a fucking dork. <laughs> so dorky old Chrisos, night after night. Most of my audience are white, the worst of all the races. Plus, <laughs> middle class as hell, watching me and laughing while spilling your slur all over the shop. <laughs> it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassing career. And chill out, like, just because I swear now and I'm cool, <laughs> that doesn't mean that you've accidentally bought tickets to see an edgy comedian. And I understand your concern. Most edgy comics look like me, race and gender-wise. <laughs> they say whatever they like. Edgy comedians, no one tells them what they can and can't say. They walk straight on stage, top of their specials sometimes, do ten solid minutes just slagging off transgender people. Just straight out the gate, just making fun of transgender people. If people on the internet get upset about it, the comedian's always like, bad luck! That's my job. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm meant to challenge people. If you don't like being challenged, don't watch my shows. What's the matter, guys? Too challenging for you? That's my job. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm meant to challenge people. If you don't like being challenged, don't watch my shows. What's the matter, guys? Too challenging for you? That's my job. I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm meant to challenge people. If you don't like being challenged, don't watch my shows. What's the matter, guys? Too challenging for you? Oh, yeah, because you know who's been long overdue a challenge? The trans community. <laughs> oh, they've had their guard down for too long, if you ask me. <laughs> They'll all be checking their privilege on the way home now, thanks to you, you brave little cis boy. <laughs> I used to name one of the comedians that was about in that routine, but it always got really awkward in the room. So apparently, it's 2019, most people still more than happy to laugh at transgender people. Not as comfortable laughing at Ricky Gervais yet, I've discovered. <laughs> That's the line. Night after night, fuck off, leave Ricky alone! <laughs> oh, this is classic liberal bullshit! Oh, what, I can't make fun of transgender people anymore, but it's fine for you to gang up on Ricky Gervais, is it? <laughs> I thought liberals are meant to treat everyone the same. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, actually. No need to treat everyone the same. We haven't got equality yet. Can't go around treating everyone the same before you've got equality. What, you go past the school, see a bully punch another kid in the face, then get out your car, go up to the bully. You make me sick, and just for balance, you're a piece of shit as well. <laughs> that was even-handed. I'm a good person. I treat everyone the same. 